Hello, hello. Hi. Hey guys, we are a few minutes early. Um, why not? It ain't like y'all got anywhere to go. Um, at least this means I can take my time in sharing this out. So while I am starting, um, hi mom. Um, hi dad. Hi, Joey. Hi, everybody who watches the replays. Uh, how was your day? Mine was great. You know, I did my work. I got exercise in. Um, I went for a walk with Toby. So... Today was a good day, you know? All right, let me get myself over to Instagram. Uh, okay, I'm on Instagram. Turn this around. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Hey, man. All right. Guys, our stories today. Hi, IPCA. Our stories today are 75% coronavirus free. <laughs> Actually, I would even push it to 80%, which I'm happy about because I am tired of hearing about the Rona said it last night and I'll keep saying it till this nonsense is over I don't like it so please stay home so we can get over this all right okay guys so we are gonna get started at 805 I'm gonna give people time to come in hi IPC8 again you're like the first person on Instagram uh, I know that there's two people on Facebook but uh, say hi so I can see your names please um, Facebook, usual disclaimer, there is a long delay, about 30 to 60 seconds, um, between the time that you give a response and the time that I see it. So you are very free to stay on Facebook, and I will get to your comments as they come in, as I read them, or you can join us over on Instagram if you want to join in a little bit more of real time, um, over at NPL Consulting Firm, okay? Um, but you don't have to, you can stay on Facebook, and I will get to your responses as well, just as long as y'all want to talk to me, okay? Um... Be sure to share this out to your friends. Uh, reminder, have y'all picked up the Dunn's Number Workshop? Those of you who have businesses that you're trying to grow, you're trying to get into big stores, you're trying to land federal contracts, things like that, you're going to need a Dunn's Number. Um, I posted, what was it, yesterday? Yes, yesterday I posted a picture of Beatrice Dixon from the Honey Pot Co. Remember, she had that whole kerfuffle with Target and people were trying to take her down. One of the ways that she got into Target was she had a Dunn's number. Um, so if you're trying to, you know, level up your business, get the workshop. It's going to teach you how to get a Dunn's number, what you need, how to get all your, all your ducks in a row. Um, it's go over at Linktree forward slash NPL Consulting Firm, okay? Uh, what else? Ooh, I've been asked to speak at another conference, guys. It's a virtual conference, so it's not going to get canceled. Um... It is the women's, the power of three summit. I'm going to give y'all more information about that as I get it. It's going to be in June. Um, hey, sincere 39. Why do I feel like I haven't seen you in forever in a day? Um, yeah, but, uh, we sincere 39, our stories today are like 75, 80% Corona free. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> um trying to think what other news I wanted to share with you guys. Um I hope you guys are staying healthy. I hope you know you guys are doing things to keep your minds off of what is happening to relax if you're exercising, um you know, meditating, you know, hey, doing virtual conference calls with friends. I just got off a conference call with some of my friends from home. Um, you know, do what you need to do to 
make sure that you are in a good mind state because these are stressful times. Don't feel guilty about, you know, feeling anxiety or stress or even fear. I mean, it's something very, you know, this is something that we've never encountered. So don't feel guilty about your feelings. Just make sure that you are dealing with them in a constructive way. Okay. All right. Um, we are going to start in about two more minutes. <clears throat> Share this out to your friends. Hey, um, yes. 80% Corona free on tonight's stories. All right. <laughs> Hi, Monte B 30, 30, 3300. Okay. That's cool. All right. So at 805 guys, I need you to share this out to your people. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think what else? Oh, how? you guys been let me know what's going on with y'all anything tell me something good that happened to you tell me something good i want to hear something good that happened to you um you know it's like all the news is just uh, uh, uh. let's talk about some good things hey tanya how you doing my dear thank you for joining guys if you want financial tips look some of y'all out you know you're you're because of what's going on you're out of work you need some help budgeting getting your money right go follow my girl tanya blingologist kinghorn you can follow her on king's cash club on facebook or you can um follow her at king tax services 18 on instagram okay she gives you all those financial tips that you need go check out my girl all right we are getting started in about a minute Get ready, get ready, get ready. Get... Hi, Clean for Reem. Clean for Reem. Oh, cool. Um, how are you? Switching back and forth between juice and water tonight, you know. I thought I'd be a little fancy this evening. We usually stick to just water. Yes, at King Tech Services 18. Hi, Clean for Reem. Okay, guys, it's 8.05. It's time to send this out to your friends, all right? Okay. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. You can't tell, but I'm tap dancing. <laughs> welcome to NPL Legal Dish. This is my Monday through Thursday live broadcast where I teach um, business and legal concepts using pop culture and celebrity news. Who am I? I'm Natalie Pierre-Lewis. I'm the host of the show, and I'm the owner and operator of NPL Consulting LLC, a business formation firm. What that means is I help people like yourself uh, get your business paperwork together. Look, we are in a time where, you know, you're home, you, you're just thinking about plans. You might be thinking about starting a business at this time. There's a lot more to starting a business than a mobile money account and a social media account. You need to get registered with, with the state. You need to get EIN numbers and DUNS numbers. You need contracts. You need to know how to hire, hire employees properly. You need to know how to protect your brand. I help you do all of those things. How do I help you do all of those things? I'm so happy that you asked. I am a licensed attorney. I have been one for 14 years and counting with a specialization in business formation. Hi, Black Georgia Peach. Uh, I have been, um, I have started multiple businesses for myself and others, both online and offline. I've had many careers in the realms of entrepreneurship, the law, education, hospitality, hospitality and administrative support and most important I'm very passionate about making business and legal education as accessible to everyone as possible thank you so much for the hearts um, if you would like to get in contact with me so that we can get your dream business off of the ground. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to linktree forward slash NPL consulting firm. That is the only link in my bio on Instagram and it is all over my page on Facebook. Okay. Um, at linktree forward slash NPL consulting firm, you're going to be able to book yourself a free 15 minute consultation. If you are a first time client, uh, I've been getting a lot of, um, initial consultations y'all got time on your hands so you're trying to get these business plans in motion okay as well as the 15 minute consultation 
I have, um, for those of you who want something a little bit more extensive, I do have Tuesday sessions where you can get a 25 minute session for $25. Okay. So if you just kind of want to pick my brain and ask me some questions, that is the perfect session for you. Um, you can go get the biz launch cheat sheet from Linktree forward slash NPL consulting firm. That is my, uh, free download that is going to help you get your dream business started in seven days or less. You can also pick up the Dunn's workshop replay. If you are already in business and you are trying to scale, you are trying to get into biz box stores. You're trying to get a line of credit. You're trying to get a federal government contract. Hi, Miss Whitney. You need a Dunn's number. So go pick up the workshop um, and learn, you know, how you file for one, what you need, what you need to do after, how it helps you. Plus it comes with my, with uh, my money management for entrepreneurs ebook. Hi, AMC Suites and um, AM Suites and my, um, Dunn's number prep worksheet. Okay. So those are the things, those are the ways that you can connect with me right now. Um, we are, but that's enough about me and what, uh, you know, I do at NPL consulting y'all are here for NPL legal dish. Now, for those of you who may be new, thank you for so much for the hearts in state 39. Um, here's how it works. I pull stories from the news stories from social media stories that you guys send me, um, stories that I get in my email. Um, and I find the ones that I feel like have lessons that we can learn as business owners and we talk about them. Okay. Um, now this is a conversation. This is not just me talking at you. I want responses from you. So I'm going to ask your opinions on questions. I'm going to ask you to put emojis in the boxes and, um, you know, I want to hear your responses again, Facebook, there is a long delay. So please, you are more than welcome to stay on Facebook and I will read your answers as they come in. There's about a 30 to 60 second delay. But if you want to join in more real time, come join us over on Instagram at NPL consulting firm. Okay. All right, so we are getting ready to get started. If we are ready, let me see at least two readies in the comments. Let me see some readies. Let me see some red. Hey, New Haitian, how are you? Uh, let me see some readies. Hey, King Tech Services. Let me see some readies, my dears. We got time tonight, so I'm going to wait for my readies. We ain't got nowhere to go. Thank you, Miss Whitney. <laughs> Thank you, King Tech Services. All right, we've got our readies. All right. So the first, uh, thank you, new Haitian. So the first story that we are talking to about tonight. Um, okay. Uh, has anybody ever heard of Florida Atlantic university? If you have heard of Florida Atlantic university, give me a one. If you have not heard of Florida Atlantic university, give me a two. Okay. Um, all right. And while you do that, I'm going to give you some background to this story. So, uh, Florida Atlantic university, obviously they are an institution of learning located in the state of Florida. You've heard of them black, um, black Georgia peach. Okay. Black Georgia peach. Do you know what Florida Atlantic university's mascot is? We're going to wait for black Georgia peach one. I want to see if she knows what Florida Atlantic university's mascot is. If you know what it is, Put in the comments if you don't just put no it's okay all right because uh their mascot is actually going to you don't know okay so for those that don't know florida atlantic university's mascot is an owl yes king tech services <laughs> all right okay i see you using context clues okay so florida atlantic university their mascot is an owl here's the thing there is um, a tutoring company called owl tutoring um, they are a collegiate tutoring company. They have been using that name for over 10 years and they have a close relationship with Florida Atlantic University. Um, the founder of that company is actually an alumni of Florida Atlantic University. Okay. So this tutoring company called Owl Tutoring, they have, uh, they have worked with Florida Atlantic University for their 10 year history, um, including five years when they were actually located on campus and then five years after after that, when they moved to a, their, their, the FAU business incubator. Okay. Um, here's the problem. Uh, I guess owl tutoring, they are seeking a trademark for their educational services of owl tutoring and Florida Atlantic university is filing a trademark infringement suit against them. Um, they are saying that they have the rights to uh, the use of the owl for tutoring services. Okay. Because it's their mascot. Now, remember when we're talking about trademarks, you have to trademark within your industry, right? 
So when we think mascots, I don't think we necessarily think of the educational part of a university. I think that we mostly think about the sports part of a university because so I went to Boston College. Our mascot is the Eagles, but we never really thought about the Eagle unless it was a football game or a, or a basketball game. Anyway, but that's just my opinion, all right? So Florida Atlantic University is saying owl tutoring, you cannot trademark owl for in terms of educational services because we as Florida Atlantic University, our mascot is an owl, okay? Um, an owl tutoring, they are fighting back they are saying that there should be no protection for uh this owl because it is um the owl is generic actually no i didn't i got this wrong they're not filing for a trademark but they are using the name owl tutoring in the realms of um in the realms of educational services okay so fau is like you can't call yourselves owl tutoring because the owl is our thing and um owl tutoring is like uh everybody uses owl when it comes to educational services owls there are tons of coexisting registered and pending trademarks for owls in educational services apparently um and on top of that owl tutoring has been operating for over 10 years under FAU's nose, they've been working with FAU for the last 10 years as OWL tutoring. Why are you bringing it up now, okay? Um, on top of that, it's not like OWL tutoring ever tried to hide the name. They advertised in the school's lobby. They had flyers everywhere. Um, they And they, they were even contracted to provide services in the classroom, okay? So... I want to know from you as an audience, do you think that Florida Atlantic University has a right to oppose owl tutoring for calling themselves owl tutoring? Your mascot is an owl, yes, but does that mean that you get to preclude a tutoring service from using an owl as their company symbol? You are, a, a, you are, you know, an institution of learning, right? Yeah, you do provide educational services, but I'm pretty sure most people don't associate the owl with their educational services. They associate it with your sports. So for me, when I did a quick Google of Florida Atlantic University, I just did Florida Atlantic University. And just the name came up. But when I did Florida Atlantic University mascot, that's when I saw the owl and it immediately came up for their football team. So I'm asking you guys, do you think that um, Florida Atlantic University was right for filing a trademark infringement suit against this owl tutoring company? Do you think that the owl is a generic symbol within the educational field that anybody should be able to use? What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? And this story is 100% Corona free, y'all. I'm so happy. <laughs> what do you think? Hello, is it is it on? Is it on? If any of y'all watch TS Madison, you know you know why that's funny to me. Um, okay, well I think that Florida Atlantic University, um, I think they're doing too much here. You've been working with this tutoring company for over ten years. Why didn't you have a problem before? Why are you just raising the issue now? Right. So whatever. Okay. Um, dang, where are y'all at? Okay. We're going to move on to our next story, okay? But before we do that, I want to remind you that you are watching NPL Legal Dish. This is my Monday through Thursday live broadcast where I teach business and legal concepts using pop culture and celebrity news. Uh, if you need some help getting that business idea into an actual business, I want you to go to linktree forward slash NPL Consulting Firm and download the Biz Launch Cheat Sheet. It's going to help you start your, biz, um, your dream business in seven days or less, okay? And it's totally free. Um, as well, you can book a free 15-minute consultation and if you're already in business and you're trying to scale and you want to get into these big box stores because they are looking for supplies, y'all, these stores are out of things. They need things. Go get the Dunn's Number Workshop. Um, stores need you to have a Dunn's Number so they can check your history as a business. All right? Um, but yeah, so that, uh, so that is my commercial. We're going to move on right after we get to Black Georgia Peach's um, question. 
Uh, Black Georgia Peach said, what other schools does the tutoring company service? Um, that they did not say that in the article. I do not know if they operate anywhere outside of Florida Atlantic university. Um, would that make a difference to you? If they like, if they only operated in the school, would you think that they had that Florida Atlantic university had a right or if they were operating all over the state? Do you think, um, wh what do you think? Let me know what your opinions are on either situation. Um, but I think it is of note to say that this company has been in operation for over 10 years. Right? What do you think, my dear? Okay. No. Can you elaborate on your no just a little bit? Just a little bit for me. Dun, 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 just a little bit. Oh, man. When's the last time 50 Cent came out with a hit? Sorry. My brain just went sideways. <laughs> um, they knew the name when they hired. Okay. Yes. They did know the name when they hired. So what is the issue now? You could have stopped this at the door when, you, when, you, when they knocked on your door. Right? So if I come up to you and I try hi black. I'm not, no, no, I'm not saying that name. <laughs> um, yeah, if, if I come to you and I am very upfront about who I am at the gate and you have worked with me well all of these years, why the problem now? That's my question about this, but we're going to move on, okay? Our next story has to do with sp more sports, kind of. Um, anybody know, an anybody ever heard of the Olympics? <laughs> if you've heard of the Olympics, give me an O. <laughs> yes, if you've heard of the Olympics, give me an O. And if you pay any attention to the Olympics, you know that um, the Olympics were supposed to take place uh, this summer in Tokyo. Um Thank you, Cynthia39, okay? Now, if you didn't know, the Olympics are, thank you, King Tax Services. The Olympics are managed, thank you, Black Georgia Peach. Uh, I, yeah, I'm gonna keep interrupting myself, so if there's more, let me let, me let them on in. All right. <laughs> so the Olympics, they are run by a governing body. There is an actual, you know, organization that runs the Olympics. And they are very particular about their intellectual property. They are always on it. So whenever you see things come out like um, High Gold in 1991. So when you think see things for the Olympics that come out like Tokyo 2020. Or I remember, I forget what year the Olympics were in Nagano, Japan. But whenever you see the city and the year when it comes to the Olympics, just know that the Olympic Committee has trademarked that, okay? The Olympic Company is very proactive about securing their brands. Now, due to the situation at hand, we know that the Olympics have been postponed until 2021. Now, the Olympic governing body already had their trademarks in place for Tokyo 2020, but they didn't have it for Tokyo 2021. So, guess who has filed a trademark for Tokyo 2021. I don't even think y'all are going to guess, but I'm going to give y'all two guesses. Who do you think has filed a trademark for Tokyo 2021? Okay. Um, I'm going to give y'all like two guesses. China, no, it, remember, it, you have to file a trademark, you need to be a company or a person. So it can't just be a country. Okay, it's not it's not a country. King Tech Service, everybody say China. No, it's not China. Um, I, you guys are not gonna guess. <laughs> King Tech Services said Trump. No, 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 no. Um, Puma of all companies is trying to trademark um Tokyo 2021, not just Tokyo 21, but Puma Tokyo 2021. Uh Puma actually filed an application for Puma Tokyo 2021. Um, the day after uh, the Olympic Games were announced that they were being moved. Uh, now, the article that I read, um, they said that there is very little likelihood that Puma is going to get... Yes, Puma girl. 
is there's very there's very little likelihood that Puma is going to get this trademark because of the long-standing history of the Olympic Committee <laughs> since the 39 said preemptive. Right. They were trying to jump on it. But because the Olympic Committee, because the Olympics are such a well-known occasion, a well-known are known in the world world they have a reputation this trademark application is most certainly going to be opposed not just by the olympic committee but by the uspto itself okay so um i don't know what puma was thinking about this maybe somebody you know they got in the sauce because they've been at home and all they're doing is drinking all day so they were like well i'm gonna try and see if i can get this trademark but puma is trying to trademark tokyo 2021 um, so do you think that they're going to be successful? The, the article that I said was, is probably not, but maybe you guys have a different opinion and I would love to hear your reason why. So do you agree with the article that Puma is not going to be successful or do you think that Puma has a shot at trademarking Puma Tokyo 2021? What do you think? <laughs> King Tax Services um, 18 said they got the coconut virus 19. <laughs> they try Black Georgia Peach one said they are hoarding. <laughs> they trying to hoard the trademarks like people are hoarding TP girl. Um, but yes, so I don't know. I you know I, I think somebody at Puma, you know, they just been at home too long. They have nothing to do and they had some money to waste. Um, but we will see what happens. Maybe Puma will, you know, maybe there'll be an attorney that'll be like, you know what? I think the Olympic Committee, you know, they've been running things for too long. I'm going to give Puma a shot. We'll see what happens and I will keep you updated as I hear things, okay? All right. Okay, we are making good time, everybody. We have one more story for the evening. Um, yes. Um, and then if we have a little bit of time, we'll go into Q and a, and then I'm, and then I want to know, um, what's been happening with you guys. Okay. But, um, you know, we're going to get through this story and then we're going to have a little fun time. All right. Okay. Um, our next story has to do with, uh, being an environmentalist. Um, has anybody ever heard of the Waterkeeper Alliance? Okay. Um, Send that money to me. Puma, I got a, Puma, I got a digital product on sale. Send that money to me. <laughs> King Tax Services, you are funny. Okay. Um, all right. So, okay. King, Sincere39 said no. So the Waterkeeper Alliance, um, the, the Waterkeeper Alliance Incorporated, they are an organization that represents hundreds of water protection groups, um, worldwide okay including one called river keepers that were uh that were instrumental in cleaning up the hudson river so the water keeper alliance they're 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 an over art they're an umbrella group for you know um for environmentalist group that are helping to keep the water clean okay and in order for um for you to and if you are a member of the water keeper alliance so if you're one of these under groups under the water keeper alliance they will license you the right to use the, the words that they have trademarks for. So water keeper, river keeper, they have several trademarks in the realm of, of water environmentalism, okay? Now, one such um, person that they gave a license to use the term river keeper was a man named Jeffrey Salt, okay? He was in, he was, uh, he was he was in charge of an organization called the Spirit of Utah, and you know they were supposed to be out here cleaning up the water. Unfortunately, Mr. Salt was arrested for felony assault. Okay, and the Waterkeeper Alliance fired him and told him that he could no longer use the Riverkeeper um, trademark because he was fired. 
Remember, if somebody licenses you to use their trademark logo, their mark, that means that you are out there representing them in the world, right? So if you're out here and you are running a muck, you could run their name into the ground. Think about, um, okay, now this is kind of extreme, but if you remember Aaron Hernandez, that football player who murdered two people, he was a Patriots team member, but because of his actions, the Patriots team were like, these are not the values that we subscribe to. He got to go. And they cut ties with him, right? Okay. So same thing here. Waterkeeper Alliance is like, Jeffrey's out here wilding. He's assaulting people. We don't want him representing our, our, you know, our brand at all. So they fired him. Unfortunately, Jeffrey kept using the, uh, the, the names, the trademark names that Waterkeeper has ownership of he was calling his organization the great salt lake keeper uh the great salt lake water keepers um and they took him to court for trademark infringement because they're like dude we fired you you don't work here anymore stop wearing the company logo <laughs> that's like if you work at best buy or the or you know apple and they fire you and you still going around wearing the uniform. Stop using our name, okay? So they took him to court because he would not stop using the name. The, ju the judge find, um, find him. Well, first they found in favor of the water keepers. And they said, Jeffrey, stop using their name. Jeffrey refused. He kept, um, you know, running his organization, kept using the name. He totally ignored the court. This was a six year long um, battle, six year long um, case. And he represented himself the entire six years. OK, and the court keeps ordering him to stop doing things. And he totally refuses to the point that the judge finally fined him one hundred and forty four thousand dollars, forty four thousand and eight hundred dollars for violating the trademarks. And they told him to stop using it and he still refused. So they issued an, a, a warrant for his arrest and because of contempt of court. So they said, look, we told you to stop using the trademark. We find you. You still disrespecting us because you refuse to follow the court's orders. You go to jail today, right? Here's the problem. He doesn't have to go to jail because of Miss Rona out here. Um, they, um, he, he's saying, you know, basically he has to stay home because of the quarantine. So they can't put him in jail, ladies and gentlemen. So while Corona has put a cramp on a lot of people's styles, it has actually... <laughs> Uh, and since if they're not said environmentalists are passionate people, I guess, um, while the coronavirus may be cramping some people's style, the coronavirus has given Jeffrey Salt a little bit extension of freedom because the court is not willing to enforce his jail sentence, um, until this, this pandemic is over. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about that? Do you think that the court should still attempt to try and arrest Jeffrey Salt? Do you think that it is worth it for them to try and get him in jail over using this trademark? Do you think it's that serious? House Black Georgia Peach said house arrest. Okay. Um, Zithernan said they are borderline insane, some of them. King Tax Services said no. No, uh, no, let that man go. Um, I disagree. Well, no, I disagree with. So here's the thing. They're not trying to put him in jail at this point for the trademark infringement. They're trying to put him in jail or they want to put him in jail because he disrespected the court. One of the worst things you can do is disrespect the judge. Okay. The judge is king in his courtroom. And if you disrespect the judge, it's called contempt and they can put you in jail. Right. <laughs> It's not just because I'm, I'm an attorney. It's because I understand why the judge is doing it. The, the court, the judge, you know, they're supposed to be the arbiters of the law. They, ex, you know, they, they, they say what the law is and you're supposed to follow it. So if they let one person slide and don't, you know, and, and don't follow the court's laws, that means that there could be anarchy. So yeah, when you disrespect the court, you run the risk of going to jail. Um, but in this case, Jeffrey Salt has avoided jail time because of Miss Rona, you know, and he's like, you know, I can't go to jail. I might get sick. <laughs> But yes, so 
We will wait and see what happens with Mr. Salt. I'm actually interested to see what happens with this. Because judges do not like when you disrespect them. Um, but, uh, yeah, we have about four minutes left before we have to get off. Fine. Oh, give him a fine and an ankle bracelet. Okay. Um, Black Georgia Peach got all the answers. She said give him a fine and an ankle bracelet. Okay. All right. Maybe they need to hire you for, um, to, to, you know, to problem solve. All right, so we got about three minutes, guys. If you have any questions about the stories that we talked about today, about the Florida Atlantic University Owls versus the tutoring company, about Puma trying to trademark the Olympics, about the Waterkeeper Alliance and environmentalism, or about any of the things that I do when it relates to starting the startup phase of your company. We got a few minutes. Also, if you want to share any good news right now, y'all, you know, we're all talking about, oh, I don't want to be in the house, but, you know... While this is a tough time, there are some really cool things happening too, you know? Um, I found that because I've been home, I've been exercising more. Um, you know, I've been able to spend more time with my dog. You know, I'm able to find more work-life balance. Since then, I said, I I'm now that I'm going to need you to defend me for this murder, murder case. <laughs> Who are you killing? Mm -mm. I don't do criminal, sir. Mm -mm. Take that on over to the Cochran firm somewhere. Sorry. <laughs> We don't do murders over here at NPL Consulting. <laughs> yes. But if you like what um if I spend one more day around my family, somebody's going to get it. Since day 39, go for a walk, go exercise. You know, it's not while you can't be around people, but that doesn't mean you can't be outside. You can go for walks around the neighborhood. I do that every day. Um exercise, watch movies, um, what else, that's about it, <laughs> meditate, <laughs> read a book, listen to podcasts, lock yourself in your room if you have to, but you know, well, yeah, some of you are, are, you know, locked in with your families, but be happy, because some people, you know, they're all by themselves, um, and they don't necessarily have people around to you know alleviate some of the some of the <sighs> tedium of social distancing you're stuck in North Carolina with them you'll be all right um yes hi so rap 21 we are just about ending my dear so you're gonna have to watch the replay uh when we get off in a little bit but yeah but those were the things that um I wanted to talk to you about uh tomorrow is a new month people yes you know Let's take it for what it is. New beginnings, new opportunities. Um, we'll be on tomorrow night. Come join me. I'm going to have more stories. And I am working on a special collaboration with you guys. It's okay. I'm working on a special collaboration um, to help you guys who are, you know, if for those of you who do have full-time employment, if you need some resources, I'm working on a, on some on something for you, okay? Um, Ting Tax Services said, I've been working my business targeting and ads end of first quarter. Awesome. Awesome. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm going to leave you guys. Make sure you hit up Linktree forward slash NPL consulting firm to see all the things that I do, to subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, to, you know, talk to me, set up your one-on-one -on -one sessions, uh, make sure that you are taking care of yourselves. Make sure you're exercising, meditating, taking time for yourselves. Don't let this get you down. It's okay to feel, you know, negative feelings, but you need to find positive ways to work through them, okay? So have a good night, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Finish.